Hi everybody, it's me Kristen. I just wanted to make this video to talk about disclosing your mental illness. So how do you know when it is the right time to disclose your mental illness? Or do you not disclose your mental illness? Um, I was talking to my friend Oz about this and we were trying to figure out, you know, is it a good thing to do? Like, um, I kind of feel like I'm hiding something or like I'm promoting shame and stigma if I don't disclose that I have a mental illness to people. But then, like in the work situation, um, like if you're interviewing for a job or something, it's kind of like probably not a good idea to disclose your mental illness until after they hire you or maybe not even at all if you know if your illness doesn't impact your job um, well, like me I'm on the internet talking about mental illness and you know anybody who does a you know a Google search for my name or whatever if they don't run into the other Kristen Bell <laughs> You know, if they could even find me among the movie star stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, they would know that I talk about my mental illness and that I have a mental illness. So, um, but I don't know how much research um, employers do. But, um, yeah, I just, it's kind of a, it's a hard thing because I feel like I want to be open and honest. But then... You know, people still do not understand mental illness a lot. Um, like, one time I was applying to work with mentally ill children, and I thought, oh, this is great. I will let them know that I'm also, me also mentally ill and that I have a lot of experience in that sort of area, but then... Like, the minute I mentioned it in the interview, the interview went, ah. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, one time, I was working at this place, and I revealed to them after I was hired that I had a mental illness. And my boss, um, one time, was I, I was, like, talking on the phone to somebody, and she thought I was talking to myself or to voices or something. And I'm like, why would she think that? <laughs> you know, because I don't talk to voices. I don't talk to myself normally unless I'm just mumbling because I want to talk to myself. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't really talk to myself, but <laughs> um, anyway, so it can impact even if you've been hired and then, and say you've been hired and you didn't tell them, but then you tell them after you've been hired, then it sort of impacts the way people think about you um, because they're going to assume all these things like I think it depend it could be different for different mental illnesses like depression certainly carries its own stigma and bipolar and schizophrenia but like um, I think schizophrenia has so many bad connotations but then also Say your boss or somebody um, has a family member or a or knows someone who has like bipolar and they're like not functional at all, then they're gonna assume that you are because you have the same illness that you will behave in the same way, which is not true. Because I think everybody with a mental illness is unique and operates in their own unique way in the world. So. Um, I think that's one thing that people don't understand is like, oh, you have this, that means you're going to do, 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 do X, Y, and Z, but it's really not that way. And I think it also impacts even just interacting with your doctor, um, especially like when I was in the hospitals, um, a lot of times they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me <laughs> because I didn't act like classically schizophrenic all the time. There were times when I was less psychotic and times when I was more psychotic. So, um, you know, they, a lot of doctors would expect you to behave in a certain, like, homeless, psychotic 
sort of way where you are completely far gone and stuff like that. But um, not everybody is that way. And so anyway, back to my <laughs> disclosure discussion. So it's also uh, hard to figure out when to disclose. Um, if you're dating or even in friendships, um, like I've not had good luck with friends. A lot of times um, when I got sick, there were basically no friends of mine who understood or were willing to understand. Um, you know, I don't blame them, but because I was young and they were young and you know, what do you know when you're 15 years old or whatever, but um, basically it makes it even harder when you're so isolated and alone because all your friends sort of leave and <laughs> cause they're like, what is, it, what is wrong with her? <laughs> you know, they just think you're being an ass or something, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know, but um, there is this dating site called No Longer Lonely. I'm not sure if it's still up. It's a dating site for people with mental illness, but um, I think it's still going. I haven't been on there in ages, but <laughs> um, I don't really go to dating sites or anything. So, um, But yeah, like one time I was seeing this guy and I told him I have schizophrenia and he like wouldn't believe me. <laughs> He's like, you don't have schizophrenia. You're not like that. And I was like, yes, I am. Like what? You know, what does that mean? And like, I've had friends try to convince me to go off medications and I'm just like, what planet are these people from? So, <laughs> um, and you know, a lot of people when you're well or doing better, they don't believe you have a problem. And it's like, hello, I don't have a issue right now because I'm taking medication. <laughs> if I didn't have medication, then I would be doing poorly. <laughs> but, and also for me, um, my psychosis would come in kind of uh, discreet, um, what am I saying? Um, waves, <laughs> discreet waves. Does that go together? No. <laughs> but, you know, I would have, there would be times when I was functional and then times when I was really not functional. So it's very confusing to people because of what they expect schizophrenia to be like. So basically what what my friend Oz and I came up with was, you know, handling uh, disclosure of mental illness on a case-by-case -case basis, but it's still it's like, how does that make it any easier? <laughs> it doesn't really. So you have to decide for every single person and issue and job and blah 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 but um you know like my therapist she kind of doesn't agree with disclosing mental illness that much uh, she said oh you don't need to tell them or unless you really know them well but then like how well do you get to know someone before you tell them you have a mental illness like what if you go for a year and don't tell someone that you have a mental illness and it's like this major thing about you and you know it's not all that you are you are much more than your mental illness but it's like leaving out the fact that you have cancer or something so you know if you go a year without telling someone then you disclose it they'll be like what why didn't you tell me or oh my god you're so scary now <laughs> you know so I don't think I'd like to wait a year before I told a friend or something. So I'm pretty much, I pretty much tell people right away, um, unless it's a job situation, in which case, you know, how do you tell an employer, yeah, I have schizophrenia, but I'm okay. And they'll be like, yeah, right. <laughs> Next. <laughs> so, um, yeah, even in like progressive of, uh, jo you know, jobs working for progressive organizations, it's not always really handled that well. And I know that doctors and 
you know, people in the medical profession who, who themselves have a mental illness have an even harder time because, um, it's, it's just so ironic that, you know, medical professionals know about mental illness and they should be well educated, but then they're just like totally bad about, um, discriminating against people with mental illness because, you know, it's like, it's like a fine line. You don't want someone in there who's going to, like, make bad judgments, but, but then again, if you're well controlled on your treatment and you're doing well and have people to talk to, resources to back you up, there's no reason why you can't, you know, have a job of any kind, but I don't know. So, I was wondering what you guys have experienced, um, those of you who have mental illness, or even if you don't, like, what would you think about someone working with you who has a mental illness, or, um, like, if you have a mental illness, have you disclosed this to your employers if you have a job, or do you disclose it to friends, or people you're dating, or... Um, to family members even. I know that some people don't even have the support of their family because they don't tell them. And I've gotten emails um, from kids who are like, I don't want to tell my mom. <laughs> you know, like, not kids, they're like teenagers. And they're like, I don't want to tell my mom that I'm hearing voices or something, you know. Um, so... Uh, you know, that can be really difficult, too, because, um, so, anyway, I had an interruption there, um, anyway, I just wanted to ask you guys your opinion, see, uh, how you deal with disclosure of your mental illness, if you even disclose it to anyone, and how does it impact you if you don't disclose it to people? Does it make you nervous about people finding out, possibly, and... Um, you know, does that add to your stress level? And how do you find support for your mental illness and your, you know, your emotional health, mental health, when you don't disclose it to people? So, those are my questions, and I hope some of you can answer. And if you don't have a mental illness, you know, I'd love to hear what you think, too. Um, what would you think if someone you knew told you you had a told you they had a mental illness but you didn't know. Like say you knew someone for like a year and then they finally disclosed to you they had a mental illness. What would you think of that? Um, yeah. So I guess that's about it. Talk to you guys later. Bye!